Hello everybody, I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the new Z interface for different Drummer 4.0. I added, uh, added this in because I wanted to make uh, something that's a little more fun and a little more intuitive than the other interface, which is pretty cool, where you control all the, the waves and uh, yeah, you can play with the frequency and the phase and it's it's sort of like a busy box for waves basically um, and uh, it, it's it's great but uh, I wanted to make it something a little bit more fun and so the circle is a is a beautiful shape and uh, it has a sort of a Zen quality so I call it the Zen interface um, and you have the same you have the same wave controls except they're just sort of expressed around a circle here and these uh, the waves are controlled with these uh, buttons I call wave handles and you just go around the circle and you, you adjust the frequency that way and so, so it sort of goes off to infinity right there and then it pops back out the other side of the universe and turns to a super low frequency um, and it snaps to these convenient points like two and three and all those those nice numbers we're used to four is always good and then you can also drag the blob around and uh, and change uh, change its uh, phase basically and so I'm on the note wave right now and that's changing the pitch of the drum and um, which is part of what different drummer does it 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 changes uh it assigns notes to drums or any instrument you can assign these to uh, all sorts of samples and uh, melodic instruments as well and right now i'm in a minor scale so it's actually playing some drums in a minor scale and uh, you have all the same most of the same controls that you have in the other interface although there's a it's a smaller set of controls but you can always switch back and forth and add in the other stuff so if you wanted to for example add a little extra wave on top you'll see that'll look kind of strange over here but you won't necessarily be able to control that other uh, little uh, bump in there over here because it only controls the, the bass frequency when you drag this handle uh, I'll probably put something in there to get to those other things but I don't want to get it too complicated here and then it would lose the Zen quality so uh, in that spirit let me go back and just flatten out that little nub there and come over here and uh, as you can see I've got the note values around here and you can change it to uh, whatever you want well uh, I kind of like the 16th so we're kind of working all right so uh, you can hear that pitch changing and you can change the depth of that pitch change this way and going in to flatten it out a little bit and you can also use the depth control to kind of change it all together like that and you can always uh, tap the center to zero it back where you want it and you can always reset the wave by tapping this circle in the center that's sort of like the zen center i guess and uh, then you can go back and bring it back in if you want so uh, yeah, and then by dragging that around, you can change where the pitch changes. Um, and that's the note wave. And then you have your rest wave, which is uh, also just going to add some rests in there. So let's go. Let's add. Uh, so that creates kind of these uh, these uh, rest patterns that you can also drag the rest pattern around the same way just by sort of dragging that. And that changes the phase. So you can either add more rests in or you can add fewer you can change the depth of the rests and then you can sort of change the beat value if you want to you know hear that and you kind of reset all these waves again let's go back let's get over to let's go to a tie wave here because that'll chill it out a little bit all right well at least where you see uh, the dim color it's it's tied together and then it unties in the bright color so as you move that around you can see that it changes where uh, where it's going to untie it, and then you can you know slide that around the circle also, same way. So between that and the rest and the notes, you have quite a few permutations to play with there. And I, I often find that you know if you snap it to one of these things, you get some pretty normal sounding rhythms. Now that's. Uh, Let's go back over and uh, well let's let's uh, let's reset the rest waves for a second. And I want to show you you got the range control here, and then you got your beat values. Now let's re 
reset the uh, let's reset the tie wave again. And you got your range controls. So you can play with that. You can actually jam with that if you want to bring it down, down real low. Bring it up to full range. You can actually tap right there and there to, to make it full range. And you can change your beats per minute by sliding there, or just bring back down your beat value. So that sounds pretty good for a bass drum. You know, you can put that on a piano or something, and you can go out to MIDI out also. And then you got your dynamics. So that's all been just the same uh, volume or velocity on all those hits. So let's change that and go here. And you can sort of create a little bit more variation there. And you can also, uh, you can rotate that. Find something you like. You can go over to a little bit slower kind of dynamic change. And then you can also play with the shape over here. So you got these uh, shape types and see what you get. You never know until you do it. Okay. So let's try that dynamic. And you can invert the waves. Any of the waves can be inverted. So you just get the opposite of whatever, whatever it was. So you can do the same with your note wave. You just select it here, hit invert, and you get that sort of the so you can play around with that, slide your note waves around. Eventually you might find something you like and say, okay, I'm gonna go on and add another voice in. All right, so you get an idea of how you can sort of play with all these things. If you wanna change the stereo panning, you can go to this wave. Uh, maybe change its shape so the stereo and then you got these uh, other other uh, factors that you can bring in they're easier to see over here so if I go into this kind of a let me go back over to my note wave and you have you have the you can see I have uh, what I call the mirrored wave and then I have the clipped wave we can go see what that looks like on this interface and you can't really tell with the rests in there but if I put the rests uh, back to reset you can sort of see what that looks like and it's pretty cool and you can uh, go back to your note wave and add more nubs on there if you want now let's get some dynamics going all right I like that. So let's leave it at that for now. Oh yeah, one other thing is if you want to change the number of measures in the pattern and have it go over, you know, a longer period, and you can set that up there. And then you can see this uh, radar thing is going, uh, the cursor is going slower. It's because it's covering four measures now per circle. And you can make your, uh, your patterns also sort of stretch out so they're different over those measures. So, so here you got a little bit more variation. The, over the measures. So that's a lot of stuff to play with, a lot of stuff to learn, but mostly just have fun, okay? All right, thank you very much, and have a great different drummer session yourself, hopefully. Take care, bye.